Hey everyone, this is Andy with Patterson Adjuster Training. In this video, I'm going to show you a stairway trick that will make your life easier when sketching stairs in Xactimate. So the important thing to remember about a staircase is it's a room. And so you can't place a room inside of a room. So if you're trying to place a staircase inside of a room using the regular staircase option, that's not going to work. And so let me show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to try to place this in here, and it looks like it's going to snap to this wall, but it's not going to let me. Now you can place this on the outside, no problem, because this is a room. So to place stairs inside of a room, you're going to have to use the custom staircase tool, which is right here. So now I can place it in here, no problem. So the hack when using the custom staircase tool is clicks. And so if you come up here and hover over staircase, the shortcut is C. I like to think of this C, instead of the shortcut for stairs, it's also the hack. Just remember C for clicks. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we want to run the stairs up this wall and then over. To do that, we're going to use this custom staircase tool I have this loaded to my cursor, I don't have any buttons held down, and I'm going to slide this over to this wall, and it's going to snap into place. I'm going to click once, that's the first click. I don't have anything held down on my mouse, I'm just pushing this straight up. When it gets up to this corner, the system is going to recognize that this would be a good place for a landing, and it's going to stop the staircase because it thinks I want to build a landing here. Now I can push this past the point where it snaps in, but I want to build a landing here because I'm going to go to the left. And so when it stops, I'm going to click again, and then that gives me a landing. Now if I want to stop here, I click again, and then that gives me a no smoking sign. And then if I want to leave the landing there, then I click again. So we want to go on up, so I'm going to click once. So we're going to push this up. When it stops, I'm going to click once. I'm going to come up here into the landing. And I can pull this landing out this way if I want. If I do that, I need to click again. And then I can bring these stairs this way to make a U-shape. I can click again. And then if I want to stop the stairs there without a landing, I pull this back over the actual treads and click again. Look at this in 3D, and that gives you your classic U-shaped stairs. So let's do that again. We're going to go make a landing up here and then come over this way. So I'm click once, bring this up. It stopped. Click again. That makes my landing. I want my landing to stay right there, so I'm going to click again. And then it gives me the oh no sign, or the no smoking sign. When you're first starting out with Xactimate, at this point you think, uh oh, I did something wrong. The system is giving me an error state, stating that I can't do this. It's kind of confusing. But when you get the no smoking sign, just pull this straight out. It starts building your upper staircase. And then you can drop it here. And if you don't want that landing there, which we don't, we're going to pull this back over the treads and click again. So let me give you one more scenario, show you how this works. Hey, I just wanted to pause the action real quick to let you know that I have some Xactimate training coming up. It's Xactimate level one and two with exam certification prep. So make sure you check that out. The link is in the description below. Now let's get back to the action. We're going to build stairs on an angled wall. So if you're taking the level two Xactimate certification exam, I think you'll have a situation like this. On the level three exam, you absolutely will have a scenario where you have to place a staircase on an angled wall. But we're going to use our custom staircase tool. Again, we make stairs in a series of clicks. So we're going to bring this over, click once, push it up, and let the system do the work for you. It's stopping it right there, so we're going to click again. It's going to make the landing click again inside the landing and then bring your stairs on up 
The system is stopping it here so it can build the landing. So click again and then click inside the landing and we'll bring the stairs all the way up. We want to make a left turn right here so I'm going to click again. It's going to make a landing. I'm going to click inside the landing, bring this up and then we're going to stop our stairs right here. So I'm going to click again. I don't want that landing there so I'm going to pull this back over the treads and you can either hit escape or just click inside the stairs. Anyway guys, I hope that video helps. I will see you in the next one.